This is the, globally the first uh, randomized trial of a CDK4-6 inhibitor uh, in endometrial cancer. Um, so the trial was done as double-blinded, placebo-controlled, and it was phase two trial, uh, uh, and we used CDK4-6 uh, pelvocyclib combined with letrozole. Letrozole is uh, more or less the standard of care in estrogen receptor positive endometrioid uh, uh, endometrial cancer, uh, and these the patients were advanced or recurrent endometrial cancer patients. Um, the trial was uh, sponsored by the by the. Uh, NSGO, Nordic Society of Gynecologic Oncology, and we had seven European countries uh, uh, collaborating in this trial under umbrella of NGOT. That was Mito Italy, uh, Jaco Spain, and Nogo Germany, um, and uh, within the Nordic Society, Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. As you know, that um, um, cyclin A uh, is involved in transition of G1 to S phase and G2 to M phase, and uh, its activity can be inhibited by CDK4-6 inhibitors like palbocyclic, which we used here, um, and endometroid adenocarcinomas are hormone dependent, and endocrine uh, treatment with an aromatase inhibitor is well established. So this is what we did. Uh, we we uh, used, so we took the patients, we uh, uh, we. Uh, the patient population was uh, patients with measurable uh, primary advanced or metastatic disease, the estrogen receptor positive, uh, with good performance status, and uh, they must not have received any CDK4-6 inhibitor before. They may have received um, prior uh, endocrine therapy, uh, but it seems like that very few patients had prior endocrine therapy in the trial. Uh, and patients were randomized uh, to receive either letrozole with uh, placebo for pulbocyclib or letrozole plus pulbocyclib, and treatment was given until progression of disease. Letrozole is given daily, pulbocyclib is given every three weeks with one week off uh, and three weeks on. Um, and, and we had 77 patients in this uh, study, um, which, uh, uh, which was uh, <coughs> what we needed. Uh, to be uh, to have, um, and if you look at the patient characteristics, uh, this is an old old population. This is endometrial cancer, so median age was 67, 68 years, and quite uh, co uh, quite a lot of comorbidity like hypertension. Uh, in almost half of the patients, uh, diabetes, um, and 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 um, uh, and they, these patients had uh, multiple prior lines of therapy. Uh, we, uh, when we look at the results, and the trial was p powered only to show uh, progression-free survival, and um, we uh, reached the primary endpoint, and progression-free survival was increased uh, from three months uh, median uh, for letrozole and placebo to 8.3 months uh, in letrozole plus uh, palbocycle with the hazard ratio of 0.56. Uh, if you look at the other efficacy endpoints, you see the same uh, trend. Um, uh, if you look at the disease control rate, it was increased from 38% to 64% at six months. If you look at the patients uh, who did not had prior uh, endocrine therapy, that was the majority of the patients, hazard ratios again 0.55, uh, and patients uh, with relapsed disease, that's again the highest population uh, was the hazard ratio 0.61. The, the drug was, the palbocyclib arm was a little more toxic, uh, one can say, because uh, of the uh, bone marrow toxicity, there was a higher number of neutropenia, anemia, but these were manageable and with the dose reductions and with dose pause, and, and only 25% of palbocyclib uh, versus 13% of placebo was uh, discontinued um, in the trial. So, so all in all, we have, and uh, patient reported outcomes did not show any deterioration by adding uh, palpocyclic. So all in all, we have positive trial. It's a phase two randomized placebo controlled trial. So it, uh, uh, it and it is the first, uh, globally first trial of, of, of a CDK4-6 inhibitor as a randomized trial. 
and we have reached our goal and that merits that we can do phase three validation. So we are looking forward to start a phase three trial uh, so that we, this, this drug can be approved, uh, this combination can be approved in endometrial cancer. Remember endometrial cancer is a disease where after paclitaxel carboplatin and maybe uh, immune therapy once uh, uh, in the lifetime, there are not many other options left uh, to treat these patients.